and um, welcome again, everyone, for being here. We're, we're so happy to see you all, and um, we're happy again to have with us one of our favorite presenters. He's been with us for just since since almost the beginning, right? Since since we started a, a little over a year ago here at the Rec. Uh, it's Max Miro, and uh, you're going to love if you haven't seen Max speak before. You're going to love uh, hearing from him. He's he's a great presenter, and he's really good at this whole entrepreneurship gig. So um, with that, uh, uh, Stephen, is there any other uh, housekeeping uh, items that we need to uh, address before we get going? Um, there's going to be a survey placed in the chat about halfway through the presentation. If you can fill that out, it only takes two minutes. I time myself, it literally only takes two minutes. So if you can do that, that'd be great. All right. Awesome. So everybody just look for that, that survey. And then if you do have any questions while we're going, you can always type those questions into the chat. Max is really good about paying attention, so or, uh, Stephen and I will we'll keep an eye on that chat. Or you can always uh, just uh, unmute yourself and, and uh, ask the question uh, out loud. If you are, um, though, if you don't have a question, we do ask that you keep your microphones and cameras off just to limit the, uh, the, the bandwidth. I think that's it. I think that's all we have to, to cover, right? Are we good to go? All right. With that, Max, take it away. Awesome. Awesome. Um... Hello, everybody. My name is Max. Uh, I've already received a wonderful, amazing introduction. Um, I run a dumb little show on the internet called Entrepreneur. That's what's on my hat. Uh, and I build tiny little startups on a live stream every week. Uh, I actually just built a little job board uh, like earlier today on my live stream because that was one of the projects that I wanted to get done. And I wanted to advertise some of the uh, awesome startups coming out of my, um, my alma mater and then help them promote. Uh, so I was doing that, and that's a good example. Uh, but recently we finished uh, some big technical product to help you find uh, templates across website tools. All sorts of weird stuff. We build miniature startups on a live stream to help you learn how to build your own stuff, right? And we're going to be doing exactly that today. We're going to be coming up with a dumb idea and building it. Um, Which I love, though. Now. I love this because it, it, it's a great way to show people how quick you can, you can build a startup and how... Um, yeah, how how little it takes if you know what you're doing, but yeah, so it's very cool. I love I love your your uh, format. <laughs> Awesomeness. Yeah, I I rarely get to do live builds like this, so I'm very excited. It's it's usually a bit too uh, unpredictable for a lot of people, but uh, so far all the ones that I've done have ended up really cool. Um, yeah, don't mind. We'll roll with it. We're all entrepreneurs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Cool. Um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty organic. I've done a bunch of presentations to the rec that have been more structured, but this is going to be pretty organic. Basically. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to spend probably five, 10 minutes at most um, coming up with an idea or going from one of my old ideas that my old dumb ideas that I have on a giant list. We'll agree on something that we think is cool and we'll start, I'll start building it and I'll share my screen through the whole process and, and kind of walk you through what I'm doing. Um, and if anybody has any questions or anything, I'm used to live streaming where people are yelling at me in a chat box. So please yell at me in, in the chat if you have any questions whatsoever at all, even if it doesn't relate to directly what I'm doing. Um, I can help you build whatever you're trying to build yourself as well. So cool, neatness, awesome. Um, I am going to get started by sharing my heckin' screen. Um, this is a giant list. I actually pull up all the pictures. That's great. And then I'm gonna pull up the chat, make sure I'm not missing that. Put that down at the bottom. Chat is here. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Now I can see the chat box. Now everything's good. So this is an old list of, of, of dumb startup ideas that I had. Basically, I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, ooh, and I write something down. Um, so that's what this is. Like I have uh, an app for geocaching. Um, uh, I was thinking of doing some affiliate marketing, saying, thinking of selling an ebook, uh, just because that's a common little, little uh, format online. I was thinking of making an app uh, of uh, like abandoned places around the United States where people could add their own abandoned place and take pictures and make this giant online database of cool places to take pictures. Um, I was thinking of building my own little version of eBay where people can sell locks without keys for people that are practicing lock picking because um, that's a hobby of mine for fun. Um, I was thinking of a marketplace for cool emails, right? So if somebody owns like startup.com and they want to sell ag like access to an email account there they can make an email account for you like max at startup.com and you buy that on that little platform um bunch of different little things um we'd love to know if anybody has any random ideas right off the bat or if any of those sound especially interesting 
in the chat box or hop on and talk a little bit, um, and we can move from there. And if nobody has an idea, I can always just pick one and we'll roll with that. I like the idea. Uh, personally, I like the idea for the lock. Oh, my camera's off. Sorry. For the uh, the lock picking app. Um, I don't know. I, thought that I, know, cool. I think it'd be really cool. Yeah. I, right. I plan on building that at some point. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I see. So uh, I I, one I, vote for email. Uh -huh, email idea. Anybody else have any other votes? You can put it in the chat or just, uh, just shout it out. One is, uh, let me also go a couple over more, over a couple more. Or if ideas. you have any ideas yourself. I, I'm the same. I think a lot of entrepreneurs are the same as you. We, we all have these little books that we find. It's like a, this little book. Yeah. <laughs> I keep on my bed. A little panda. Yeah, right. It, and I have so many. I have hundreds of these books filled up with ideas. In the That's middle awesome. of the night, think of an idea, write it down. You know? Yeah. It always, it's always right before I fall asleep. I always come up with like, aha, and then I write it down. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. What was, there was one more. Um, I was thinking of building, and this is a little bit of a larger project, so we might not be able to get through uh, the entire thing, but it could be a nice example. Um, I was thinking of creating a service for entrepreneurship centers, um, like the REC, uh, mm -hmm. to help students get into startups as for internship opportunities, right? So it would just be like kind of a large circulating job board, but it would be specifically for oh, students yeah. looking for internships. Yeah, do it. I want um, that. Yeah, I want that. Let's, let's <laughs> create it. Let's actually make it. I like this a lot. Yeah. You like that? Mm -hmm. I like uh, it. Let's do that. All right. All right. Yeah, oh, somebody else would make it. Yeah. Yes, I like it. Lots of people. Yeah, that's, that, I want to do that. We can use that. Yeah. That would be excellent. Cool. Awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, I plan on, we can start that today for sure. And I can go through the process of how that would be built. Um, and I do plan on fully building that on the show over a couple of weeks. Perfect. Um, we'll be your so first customer. I, yeah. Hell yeah. That would be great. You sold. Awesome. You're your first customer. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Excellent. All right, cool. So what do I have here? Um, there was one example of somebody that did it for, there's a lot of examples of this that happen at different universities individually, right? Mm -hmm. um, but there's really no larger example that I was able to find at least. Um, so what is this going to look like? This is going to be a... There's going to be a website where people can submit, of course, job opportunities. It's going to be focused on internships, and uh, it's going to be for students specifically. So the marketing is going to be interesting, but it could be marketed through. I'm just thinking through a little bit of stuff. Um, should it be an app or a website. I feel like it might be a little bit easier as, well. as an, or an website. App. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if I have uh, how much I have on my Webflow account. Um, I go to my Webflow account. Can I make another project or am I all done here? Um, actually, I might kick out Dead Startup Merch. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Do I have enough bandwidth to create a new project? Does it allow me to? It might. Um, okay, cool. So let's see. How about we... Trying to, trying to use up your free account before you have to get to the paid one. Yeah, yeah. So I have a I have a smaller paid account, but I oh, okay. I, I want to see if I have to pay for another one. And if I do, oh well, I'm not worried about yeah, it. Yeah. Um, restaurant templates, good. I'm wondering if there's a simple job, uh, job board template, one page restaurant business startup designer portfolio. Actually, we might be able to use Doric. Uh, actually, no, hold on. Check this out. This is a product that I recently built called Beta, um, and I want to create a listing slash directory event directory facebook clone directory app job board here we go that's on bubble are there any other job boards this is a little list of templates that i've found that i've created across no code tools and i jammed it all into one big website so i can search for uh different templates okay softer softer could be really solid yeah yeah, let's do softer. Yeah, the restaurant bubble and bubble is a little bit hard to work with. Yeah. Let's do softer. Perfect. Okay. We have our tool. Softer.io. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Log in. So softer. For those um, that don't know, this is softer. Um, this is going to be an app-ish kind of website, but it's going to basically be a website. Um, this is software.io. I'm putting it in the chat right now. It is a very, very simple little um, tool to build apps slash uh, websites. Yeah. And Dream Jobs is one of the templates that I use there a lot. It looks like this is the one we're looking for. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, I like it a lot. It is a nice free t as a nice uh, free tier, uh, and and we should probably be able to do most of what we need on that free tier. It creates 
a simple interface off of a template. In this case, we're using a job board template um, and it connects to a backend called Airtable. Um, Airtable is a really, really nice little uh, database tool and I'll also pull that up and I'll show you how that works. Um, but first, let's start off of the template under my Airtable API, API key. I think that's it. Use my, use the template space. Copy our template space to your Airtable account, yes. So it's gonna make an Airtable base for me that we will be able to check in a second. Uh, let's see, domain name base, job board template. I think it would be job board template, right? Yes, I think that's it. Let's actually go to my Airtable account and we'll be able to see if it auto-populated something. It looks like this, there we go. So I have a bunch of different little workspaces. If we go into the job board template, this is what it looks like. It automatically populated a series of um, things for me to use. I actually added my own versions in here uh, from a different project, but that works fine. So like my Airtable table, job board, finish. Excellent, excellent. So boom, now we have a really simple job board. It should be done and ready to go. I just need to add the information and allow people to submit their own stuff. This is a very lo-fi prototype and I'm sure there's going to be some custom requirements because what is the difference between an internship uh, and a specific job, right? Because job boards like this, this is just a job board. Here's your responsibilities. Here's what you need to do. Here's the pay, et cetera, right? But I feel like there are nuances to start up internships very specifically. And so as we move along with the product, we'll customize it to make sure it very specifically solves that problem, right? Um, hmm. Maybe what we could also do in the future is add specific, so this allows us to sort by location, which is perfect, right? Because these are, these are going to be location based. Uh, they're gonna be for different schools and things like that. I could have it sort by schools as well. So you could pick that your school. Cool. Yeah, I think that would yeah. be cool. You could pick your school and then it would be, you could find job postings that are specific to your school or your area. That might be good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we should be able to do that in a low-tech way with this. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So we have this up and running. Let's see what we can start customizing. This is what it looks like on the back end. Um, we'll keep this here, except I'm going to cut down these descriptions because they're huge. Um, let's say this is a description just to make it a little bit easier for us to visually deal with. I'm going to paste those across here. Uh, give it a second. I believe in it. Okay, maybe I don't believe it. There we go. Um, okay. So the three things, we have location, we have language, and we have type. Um, location is super important, except let's change that to school. Yeah, I think that's good. Good way for people to look it up. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be a nice little sorting method. And then, of course, you want to know, these are all internships. Mm -hmm. um, well, should we, we also do hiring? Or what yeah, was your suggestion? You, yeah, do you want to do, I mean, I, I don't know how deep you want to get, but you could do like, like uh, either in like paid or unpaid internships or um, maybe like, a, I don't know. No, 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 I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so actually we already have, since this is a job board, we already have different versions down here. Yeah. Um, paid internship, and then I'm going to do another one. Uh, unpaid internship. Yeah, and so just that... to let everybody know, if you came in late, what we're doing is we're building a company from scratch. Uh, where uh, Max is, uh, does this uh, often on his uh, on his uh, podcast, uh, Entrepreneur, and we're just uh, literally building a company from nothing to a company um, using using what's out there, using what are already exists in the world and for free or very cheap. Right? Yes, indeed. And we're using a tool called Softer right now, S-O-F-T-R. And you do um, not have to be very tech savvy to do these kind of things. I, honestly, I, I, I can... <laughs> I learned how to how to do this very quickly with almost no background in tech. So, yeah. heck yeah, me too. I can't code my way out of a paper bag. I'm, I'm right. garbage at technology. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, these are just tools that are built for people like us. Okay, cool. Totally. So we have let's let's use the rec as a first example. Um, let's see, what do we have here? We have position, size, type of contract, 
excellent. Let's actually add the other ones that we had. So it wasn't, it was paid internship. And then we had unpaid internship. Um, perfect, beautiful. And I, I wanna say this too about, about like working with things like this. A lot of it is just kind of playing around and not being afraid to mess up. Like exactly. who cares, like really, you know? Yeah. And then I am hardcore like, just futzing right now. Yeah, totally. Um, okay, perfect. Awesome. And then there's a career page. If there is an, if that's an option, contact, perfect. Yeah, this is already set up beautifully. Um and this is their template? Yeah, this is just their template that they gave me. This is excellent. I love that. There's so much out there that with these templates that are so good. Like, I mean, yeah, you don't have use to build these for. Yeah, use yeah. templates for everything. Don't don't try to recreate the wheels. It's already been. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Cool. So let's change this to school, um, and then I'm going to delete all of these. There's a lot of stuff here, um, and let's add an option. So we'll add uh, rec here. Um, as the first bit, do you want to convert? Do we want to say at Miramar or? Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. So what would it be Mir Miramar? Miramar College Rec or the Rec at Miramar or either one? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the Rec at Miramar. Rec at, at Miramar, Miramar College. Yeah. College. Perfect. Excellent. So there's that one. Um. Let's just say I get um Carnegie Mellon University. That's my alma mater. Maybe uh, also do well. SDSU, um, like uh, SDSU's Lavin or uh, Zip Launchpad for SDSU. SDSU. That's DSU, uh, San S Diego State University. Yeah, the SU. SDSU. Okay, cool. We can just do uh, SDSU, that's perfect. Yeah. Launchpad, mm -hmm. perfect. That'll be a nice little starting point. Um, okay, excellent. We have paid internships, we have part-time. We have... The category for specifically what it is, which is wonderful. We have the position. We have a description. Um, save. Yes, convert. I think it should be fine, right? Yes, it's still multiple select. Everything's good. Um, it's probably going to all be... This isn't a global thing right now, so I'm probably going to delete language. Well, I'll leave language there, but I'm going to delete it over here because I don't think we need that right now keep it simple and then type yes and then we should also add a filter for a uh, category um because you know if you're looking for a position in tech you're not going to be looking through the 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 other types of internships it's just going to be tech right so let's see let's find label this label will be uh position or i guess uh field you like job type or oh yeah oh yeah or industry yeah. field yeah works industry here. yeah industry slash field mm -hmm. i like that industry slash field um that is hard to see for some odd reason it's tiny. let's see if i can change that color um to that there we go yeah and let's make it all capital so it fits in with the rest of it industry slash field um, filter by, and it's going to be, um, what was it over here? It was category, right? Category, type of contract, category. There we go. And the ones that we have here so far are all of these. I wonder if I can, uh, this is empty. Okay, communications, legal sales, probably, uh, these all work fine. I just need to add them in a nice, smooth way. Hmm. Oh, I know. Um, let's go and create a new little cell. Let's add every single one. And then I'm going because I need to over here. I need to give the options in a little string, right? So it's tag one, semicolon, tag two, semicolon, tag three. And so I need to know what all of the options here are um, in order to make it into a neat little string like that. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put that into here. There we go. And actually, I can probably just. 
hand pick this. Sorry, this is a little annoying. Futz work. I gotta do to make sure it works right. There. Boom, and then that should be good. So we'll copy that out. We'll pop that into softer right there. And that should work. Does that all look good? That all looks good. Okay, cool. So now we have school, mm -hmm. type, and industry. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, and then actually we need to change these up here because we changed those to school. So let's pretend this is at the rec. This is at Carnegie Mellon. This is at Carnegie Mellon. This is at the rec. This is at SDSU. This is at SDSU. This is two. Cool. Yeah, so, so everybody see what, what we're doing here or have any, any questions about this? And I mean, we're just kind of uh, filling in some of the, the, the blanks in here so that it can, um, so that we have some, you know, something some, to show. Some yeah. dummy data. Yeah, yeah, just so we can populate it and make sure everything looks nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I need to do the same thing for this this and this and we're going to copy that and paste it here and then right after this we should be pretty much done with the basics we're gonna have um, a we'll have a prototype we'll have a yeah real quick yeah a prototype this is something that you can then use to uh just to to test and see if people actually like what you're selling and um and uh, you then you can if they do then you can um, you know pursue the idea further. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, and we'll talk about kind of like a a marketing plan and a few other things. We'll add a little bit more customization to this as we go forward. Um, yeah. But yeah, I would love to know if there's any questions so far as I'm building the last little bits of this the um, for version one. So school <laughs> looks good. Type um, that's fine. Have any of you ever done anything? I'm just curious in, in the audience. Have any of you ever just uh, done something like this? Like just quickly created created a uh, company using uh, just tools that are out there uh, on the internet, and we call this digital bricolage, right? Just picking pieces from from different things out there and putting it together and making a company out of what exists. Have any of you done this before and then tested it? What did you call it again? No, I've never Love. done anything like this before. It's all new. Uh huh. Cool. Cool. Well, hopefully you'll do this after. Yes, yeah, some stuff on Fiverr. Some people know nothing like it before. Cool. Okay, so this is new to a lot of people. Heck yeah. That thing that made a dollar, Jake says. <laughs> well, eventually, basically, eventually it'll work. Yeah. Basically the same with a lot of people I know, including myself. Most of the things that I've made don't don't make anything. Mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of futzing around and experimenting. Mm -hmm. Till you find that perfect thing that does. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. Um, yeah, it's called bricolage. Like, it's an art term, bricolage, but it's digital bricolage. You just take things from, you know, that exist out there that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. That's so like, fun. I love that. Yeah. So is this an app that he's creating for, mm -hmm. like, internship? That's what he's making. He's making, like, an app. Well, uh, like a, a website slash app uh, for, for internships at, uh, at schools. Um, for, for startup internships at schools. And then that way, now he has something he can, you know, once he's done with this and we, when we, and we fix the, the colors and the branding, now he has something that he can show to, uh, you know, to, to people who would be using this and say, Hey, look, this is what I made. Do you like this? What do you like about it? What do you not like? And, and then you can start really taking your time building this out and making something um, real, but you, you need to, you need to start with a, uh, you, you need to start somewhere and you, and you don't want to spend a lot of time on the on the prototype because if it is something that people don't like or don't want you haven't wasted that much time right exactly yes the goal is just yep. to get something up that exists so i can show it to for instance tanya and be like hey i have a job board would this be useful to you at all and if she says no then okay if she says yes then we move forward and we build something even better mm -hmm. yeah but yeah um, so is this kind of like Similar in the aspect back in the days when they, which they still have today, which would be website templates. Mm -hmm. And you can just like, you have a website idea and then you can use a template rather that's than build it from scratch. So you're doing that's it. app that's template. 
Well, it, it's exactly. kind of like a website app template. Yeah, because they're, they're almost like interchange. They're starting to become interchangeable nowadays, uh, like websites and apps. But yeah, that's exactly it. He's just using a template and filling it in rather yeah, than yep. creating it from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. And software builds like apps and they're usually for lists. Um, they call them apps. I think they're more like websites. The way that I define a website is it looks the same to everybody, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody uses it the same way. It's the same to everybody. Mm-hmm. An app though changes depending on you, the user, right? Um, So like Instagram looks different for everybody because everybody follows different people. Um, But in this case, this looks the same to everybody. It just has some sorting features that are like application-y. So I consider this more of a website, um, but software calls them apps. doesn't really matter in this scenario. We're basically building a simple little list website um, uh, just to get something up and running. That's a really good way, a simple way to describe describe the the difference there. I like that. Yeah, mm. um, I'm curious of like what the, I'm sure there's like a technical definition, and I haven't. Right. That's just kind of what I've pieced together. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Section one, that was two. It's fine. Well, that's yeah. helpful because I was going to actually ask what the difference was between a website and an app. Mm. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that that's the best way that I've been able to kind of piece it. Um, let's make a logo real quick. Yeah, we need a logo. Yeah, logos are fun. I like to, um, oh, you, I was just saying, are you going to do Canva? I like Canva. Of course, I love Canva. Yeah. It's excellent. Easy, fast, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's there's say... A, by the way, so there is, uh, if any of you are wanting to make a logo on Canva, we made a video last week for how to make a logo on Canva. So you can pull that up in, in the rec logos. I mean, the rec videos, rather. That's excellent, yeah. Um, yeah, Canva's becoming a little bit more popular, but so many people don't use it. It's, know, it's right. ridiculous to me. It's amazing. I know. Um, it, makes, it makes everything look so shiny, fancy, like you, <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> okay, cool. So what kind of names do we have? This is for a startup. Let's just come up with some names. I, and I'll, I'll, I'm not going to come up with a name. I'm going to take somebody else's name, and we're going to use that for fun. Okay. Uh, unless you don't want me to use your name, but... Uh, <laughs> you, want the st- you want a name for your startup, and the startup is a startup that, that does... Um, that helps startups find interns and interns find startups. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. I, I had a, a small version of this for my local area when I was in college, and that was actually the first thing that I ever built. It was called Yes PGH, which was Young Entrepreneurs Society of Pittsburgh. Um, PGH yeah. was just the, 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 the city code. Um, mm-hmm. So that's what I called it back then. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. down for literally whatever. All right, so you want us to come up with some ideas? Would love some ideas, yeah. Like, all right, uh, everybody, let's let's brainstorm. Let's come up with some ideas for a startup name for this. Um, I, think. I say bridge. 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 Okay. Well, so that, okay. I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in the. Bridge. Yeah, yeah. Put them in the chat so we can. Chat. What else? Get some other ideas. Some other ideas. Hmm. Um. So it's got startup internships. So maybe can you combine words like um. Um, let's look up intern now i like that intern now Ooh, yeah link up uh, link up on for jobs okay yes. nice, yeah, nice, i'm nice, liking nice. these now yeah 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 one thing i really like to do is i go for like internship uh synonyms i go to like dictionary.com <laughs> yeah synonyms.com um internship trainee probationary traineeships practicum courses trainee trainee intern course probation stage not too much good stuff there. Maybe like startup. Startup. Shut down. No. <laughs> Not shut down. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe like um, oh, like, um bootstrap. And I'm trying to think of like words that like kind of come to mind. Yeah, I like that. I like bootstrap. Tech up apprentice. Ooh, I like apprentice. Yeah, apprentice. Plus one on entre job. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like entre job too. Entre, uh, entre start on. Apprentice. Uh, um. Ooh, talent start. Um. Hmm. 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 Operative. Ooh, that's a fun word. Operative. Initiation. Um. Launch. Inception. Initializing. Mm. Entre job is pretty good. Oh, okay. All right, cool. It looks like we got a bunch of votes for entre job. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, entre job. But why not entre job? I love entre it. Job. Love it. Uh, let's add a heading. Pretty let's good. Entre job. entre job. I like it. Boom. I usually make all my my little beginning logos out of uh, 
just text mm -hmm. <laughs> just because it's a nice simple way interforce i do like mm -hmm. i do like apprentice and interforce too mm -hmm. um Oh, Stephen uh, snuck it in there really nice. That was that's perfect timing. I like it. Yeah, while I'm doing this, please fill out the, uh, um, oh, the survey. The survey. Yeah, it okay. is very helpful. Yeah. Onto a job. This looks good. I like this uh, font. Oh, so do I. It's very kind of techy. This is really good too. This is more yeah. space age kind of stuff. Yeah. Do this. Futuristic. Onto job. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's find. Entre, because it's like, because French, yeah, entrepreneur. But what does entre means? Like entering into, entering into job. I like it. I really love it. Very entre. throwback video game fun. Yeah. <laughs> entering into job. It's a good name, actually. Yeah. I think I would, I would stick yeah. with so it. So I like it because it's for startups, which is entrepreneurship, but yeah. also for it's also going for into your first it. job. Yeah. Your internship. I like yeah, it. Ooh. I like it a lot. All right. Now, the more that I think about it, the more that I like it. Awesome. Yeah, me okay, too. Cool. Me too. Okay, so let's make this like mm -hmm. blue. Yep. Um, that's for job. That looks pretty nice. Just off the. I like uh, it. Let's go back to here. Let's keep it dark. I like the dark font. Um, background image. Hmm. Hmm. Background image settings. I'm thinking of how I can change the uh, the background. You want to keep color. the background dark, but not. Uh, I I don't like black though. I like dark, but not black. Personally. Okay, cool. Then let's not. Let's do. Let's keep it with the blue. Yeah. Um, so let me actually find that color. I have a little tool to do that. It's a color picker. <clears throat> yeah. Boom. Let's grab that color. Mm -hmm. Done. Let's pop it over to here. Bop, bop. Mm -hmm. Done. So in that case, this doesn't look good. So let's change this to white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Good job. Beautiful. Uh, actually, let's go to coolers.co. Let's see if we can come up with a nice little color scheme. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Start the generator. I already have one of the <coughs> colors that we're using, which is the background. So I'm going to plug mm -hmm. that in. Boom. And I'm going to do that. That's a little too mm -hmm. candy. Yeah, it's a little, yeah. This is nice. A little bit pastelish. Hmm. I feel like it's a little too rainbow-like. Maybe something like muted, but has like a very oomph. Because one thing I learned in design class is that any color can technically be a neutral color depending on the palette. Ooh, no. I like that. I like that. Okay, yeah. So something not too rainbowy. Mm -hmm. Um, I like this. This is a nice little. I like blue. this one the most. Yeah, I like it a lot. So far. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we have some reds to work with and we have some nice, nice calm colors. Perfect, awesome. Let's work with this. So um, I'm going to copy the hex of this. I'm gonna pop it into this right here. So it'll be nice and soft. And then we'll add one of the reds and see if that works for this bit. How does this look? Uh, I don't know. I don't mm, like it. It looks very like political it. campaign. Yeah, I don't like it. It does. It does. I, agree with that. I think we should change this. I like Let's the blue. the red. <laughs> see if we can come over. Yeah. Here. These are nice. Ooh, the orange. I really like the orange. All right. All right. Let's run with that. Let's run with that. Let's try something a little bit more muted because that seemed to be a little bit overwhelming when it was this. Mm -hmm. it, does, it does look political. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. Um, Andre John. Better. That's better. How about this one? Ba, 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 da. Wait, oh, there. Yeah. yeah, it's much better, but it better. is much better, yeah. Um hmm. I don't know. I'm still not loving it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not loving it. Let's I mean, do... I think I like the rainbow, the one that Max settled on first. The yeah, reason go back to the yeah, go back yeah, to it was I think it's one of the things I think about with entrepreneurship is I want it to be inclusive. We're trying to really change that culture. Yeah, that's that's point, along point. with the rack a lot. So like I want it to be slightly feminine also and inclusive of people yeah, yeah. who are not typically represented yeah. in startup culture. Yeah. So it being rainbow, like, yeah, it would be like kind of a statement, but I think that we need that statement. So the one that Max was on first. Yeah. Um, was it it? No. no, this wasn't it. But I mean, anything that's bright and colorful, I think that's an asset. I, I don't think it would detract. I agree completely. So let's keep that orange and let's see if we can work with that orange. Um, and let's keep the nice dark blue. Let's try to find mm -hmm. some like 
a nice in between. I like this. Let's see if we can find something that's a little bit too intense. I like that. Maybe this. This looks nice and soft. We agree. Do we like this? Yeah, I, like it. I like it. I like it. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's copy the hex. Let's copy the hex with the blue. Boom. Try this. No. Mm. Let's try this. That's all right. I like that. I feel like that's a nice kind of middle. I think oh, anything's yeah. better than the red and the orange for the job. <laughs> you don't okay, like yeah. you don't like the red or orange? No, because red reminds me of a stop sign. So then it like green. So try and, yellow or green or something, maybe. Yeah, it's something like a go, like what we're programmed yeah. to go for, like. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty intense. <laughs> what about pink? Let's try pink. Yeah. Here's Somebody true. said they liked pink. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, normally, I normally don't, but it might, might might work. Let's give it a shot. Actually, I kind of like that. Not your job. I, it's kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of dig it. I kind of feel it. Um, let's keep the pink. Well, here. we can go with it for now. We can always change it. Exactly. Right? Yeah, I feel like we're we're getting very design yeah, heavy, which I love do, doing. We're getting into needs. Yeah, we're getting too 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 much into it. But... <laughs> All right, cool. So we'll work with this palette for now. Yeah, um, for now. Let's stick with Entre Job. I like it. Let's download this as a PNG. Let's pop and then, it back. Then it's inclusive too. It's got some feminine, you know, stereotypical, but yeah, yeah, I, I like, I like it. it. I like it's it. A work. Let's get, pop that in there. See how that looks. Entre Job. We can make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, for sure. There we go. Entre Job. Uh, entre job. And let's customize these colors a little bit. So let's, mm -hmm. let's also, I wonder if we can add, uh, can we change the color of all these different little buttons? The buttons, I yeah, I think you can. I've yeah. done that before, yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay, cool, so let's give it this nice, actually no, let's use the pink. We were using the pink before, so let's keep using the pink. Bop, bop, I like it. Let's go up to here. Let's add the button, background color, boom, that looks cute. Hey, we're some starting more. to get some, hey, like some branding here. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Find um, your dream job in tech. And I like that, I actually kind of like that it's pink in it, it with a tech entrepreneurship. Thank you, Swati, for, for throwing that. Yeah, yeah no, I, am, I am super digging this, actually. Yeah, I, I really like this. Job or template, perfect. Okay, yeah. let's add the buttons love this where is it see more button yep change this so, to pink as well i just want to say to everybody this is why in entrepreneurship you don't want to you don't want to be a solopreneur you don't want to be all alone uh, you know coming up with things it's you, you need human beings to bounce ideas off of and to you know to come up with things together whether or not you're sharing equity you need to be sharing ideas and like making things happen together yeah i agree completely Find out more position, company, location, divided description. I love it. Look at this. We've got an MVP. Yeah, cool. we do. Straight up. This is great. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how to customize that little button. I'll figure it out later. Mm. Let's grab some of these other colors. Let's grab maybe <coughs> white. Excuse Let's me. Go back to this. Make the school a little bit Big cuter. Yeah, like that that looks good. We'll grab the yellow here, and then we'll go for type. So type can be a little bit cuter. Boom, a little bit aggressive, but you know what? Whatever. Okay. And then let's go with this blue. Beauty. And then uh, boom, and boom. I like it a lot. All right, cool. Um, we can always fuss with this letter. We can always change it. Yeah. Uh, this looks pretty solid to start. Yeah. As long as we let's get the add the job. Let's make sure our pages are fine. Because what happens when you jumping. click? Oh, what were you saying? Yeah, I was saying, can you make it a little bigger? Because I just I can't see very very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually want to let's publish this really quickly. Let's yeah. call this. Um, on your job. Publish on your job. Mm -hmm. On your job. Dot software dot app. Let's publish. 
Yay! We now have a <laughs> MVP. We have an actual company. Good job. This is What's it. Yay! I love it. Swati, what were you going to say? Did you have a question? Yeah, sorry. I'm, I was muted. Um, yeah, so so just can I ask a couple quick questions on how this all works? Is that Absolutely. Is that, uh, Max, you're awesome. I feel like I, I kind of accidentally came to this today and I, I'm so happy that I was here because um, yeah. <laughs> I have these like a couple ideas in my head where I'm like this now I feel like it's suddenly possible. Um, so this is a live prototype, right? Like there's an actual URL and someone can go to it and I'm posting it in the chat right now. Okay, it's sweet. available. Okay, sweet. I just, I want to clarify, um, what is Airtable? Sorry, I don't know. Uh, tell me what that is and how Perfect it interacts question. with this app that you're using, this prototype yes. app. Perfect question. Yeah. So Airtable, um, this is Airtable. It okay. is basically like, think of like Google Sheets, right? Or like Excel, right? Like a little database with a bunch of different little cells. Um, Airtable is basically just that, uh, but it's built more on like, uh, what's the, like records, which doesn't really mean too much. Basically, like when I create, um, it's a way to store information in rows in a really organized way, right? So in this case, everything for one row, I could do this in Google Sheets too. There are tools to do this in Google Sheets too. Um, but everything in this row, right, for let's say Delta Trainer, um, has a logo, an industry, a size, a position, a description, just like you would do in a typical sheet. Except uh, Airtable is just a little bit more advanced than Google Sheets when it comes to row stuff. So I could create a separate sheet and like reference certain rows. It gets weird. Just think of it as a nice little database tool that connects with software. Software uses Airtable, connects to one of these sheets that I have in my Airtable account and then I makes just, this. So personally, since I wasn't very advanced with it, I was just using it like Google Sheets. That's what I yeah. figured is another version of Google Sheets. So that's 90% of what I do. Yeah. But if here, here's a quick example of, of some, some extra oomph that you can do. Um, if I create a separate table, right? Uh, let's say I have like job boards and companies. So let's mm -hmm. name, rename this companies, right? Um, so you are create... putting the information in Airtable. That's info that you input. It's not pulling from somewhere else. It's input da data is inputted by you. Okay. That was a big Just... question I had. Okay. Got it. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. Mm -hmm. um, and actually the next thing that we need to do is on this page, uh, mm -hmm. we need to make sure this add a job section. It looks like there's already a form here. So yeah, it already yeah. inputs everything, but we need to customize this form to make sure it looks a little bit better. And then people can add their own jobs, yep. right? And start using and this. Then, and it'll auto-populate into Airtable, right? But yeah, just think of it like a database that I put stuff into and then it shows up on software because software uses Airtable. Okay, so you did you create, sorry, I'm like totally asking detailed questions. Oh, you're good, you're good. This, but like, so did you create that Airtable with that job stuff, like the info with the intention of using this template to create a job board? Like, is that how the process starts? So you create like a database of information in Airtable that you intend for the software to like pull um, through the use of whatever template you choose to create whatever you're creating. Yes, actually in this case, because I was using this uh, job board template on software, uh -huh. it gave me an option just to make me an Airtable Copy. sheet that, that looks like uh, what a job board, you know, she would look like. That would populate it well or, or like match up. Okay. Exactly. So all this data in here, almost all this data in here, aside from a few of these names and this logo right here is all, is almost all just they uh, auto-populated. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is I thought it fake? copied something. Is it fake before. or something? Is it like, is it dummy text kind of? No. Or no? Yes. It, it, it's, so they made this stuff up. They, they aren't actual positions. And, and Okay, got actually, it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I so I misunderstood that then too. So so all of that is dummy. Mm -hmm, all mm -hmm, of it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, okay. All that is dummy data, and I was just using right. it to make sure that things here look good, right? Mm -hmm. So when I click into here, everything looks like an actual right a company, um, and so that looks company. like a company there. Yeah, exactly. cool. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Okay. I misunderstood. Um, Thank you, actually, Swati, for saying that because I thought that I thought they were actually just pulling some things from that he had done before and just copying what he had, but they just made it up. Uh, so. No, no, yeah, this is all made up stuff. So. The next step for me would be to actually go to, let's say, the rec and say, hey, what companies do you have? Uh, uh, like, what companies do you have? And are they hiring, right? Or do they need yeah. interns? And I know we've got all of our startups uh, need uh, interns. We do um, like uh, these short little internships for all the startups there now. So we have all of our startups. We could actually pull them from the recap form. Um, here, let me let me give you the link to that. 
Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, here. Uh, Max, do you have a list of master list of tools like this that you, I mean, no, if you would want to not share it, that's fine too. But it, where's a good place to learn about this stuff? And like, because sometimes I'm just overwhelmed with the sheer amount of tools and then everyone is, I out, think. Right? Like trying to yeah. figure out, um, well, trying to figure out like how, which one do I use and blah, blah. It takes forever. So, um, but this is good to start. I mean, these are great. I have a giant list of, I think, 400, it looks like 452 tools that you can uh, pull from. So let me give this in um, the uh chat thank as you. well wow you're awesome this is thank this is you awesome man job and max i gave you information on all of our startups in in our recap form this is a their you know the companies the uh, their uh, elevator pitches and then uh, it doesn't have the job titles for what they're looking for for the jobs but it gives a at least you can see yeah those are all of our, our startups yeah, excellent yeah excellent Ooh, then, we got a lot here yeah, I know we have a lot going through the program right now. Holy crap, that's yeah. awesome. I know, oh, yeah. Our good company. You guys need to update your logos over there on the left. I'm just realizing. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, yeah. cool. So, perfect. Um, actually, I'm going to add this. Uh, I'm going to add this little uh, thing right here to the... Because I, I want to go build this on another stream and like build this out a little bit more formally. I'm probably going to add... Um, individualized pages for different schools. So this works as a nice little basic setup, right? Mm -hmm. like this this looks great. I love it. Um, but I would probably rebuild this on something like Webflow or a website tool um, and add a sorting feature like this because I know how to custom build this kind of thing. Um, I would probably do that. And then I would make a custom page for each school, probably, maybe. I don't know. I think, um, you should, I think that would make it, I, I mean... You could always ask them if they wanted that, but I I would think that they would. I personally, yeah, I, just so you I, can directly link it in, for instance, your your outreach. Like, hey, if you put this in the newsletter, it's underjobs dot com slash slash direct. Yeah. R -E exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that would be that's just kind of a theory that I have. Yeah, I like um, that. So I might rebuild that, and I might do that. And so I'm going to add. Uh, here's an internal example. Um, here's all the companies and their positions at the rack. Yeah, I love Boom. Yeah. Um, so that's great. And then I'm going to add our current prototype. Mm -hmm. um, and create bookmark. I'll say I, uh, totally something you can test. And then you get your you, you're just like he just came up with a hypothesis that he could test in his customer discovery, right? My hypothesis is that different schools want their own landing pages. Uh, and I would assume that he's right, but talk to a few of them and then he's got boom. Um, yeah. Right. Hey Max, what's Webflow? Is that a more sophisticated live prototyping tool? Yes. So Webflow is based, is a custom builder. Um, they have plenty of templates to work from. And they kind of have their own kind of setup there. Um, so you could totally do that. But software works exclusively off of templates. And it becomes a little bit difficult to build things completely custom because it's set up very specifically for what we're doing right now. Job board, great, go, right? Very quick and easy. Webflow, um, I can show you... Uh, let me show you a little example of Webflow. Webflow is like the best website builder that I've been able to find. Um, and it's completely custom and you do everything from scratch. So actually that tool that I used earlier, Beta, right? Where I was able to find that template that I'm using now, um, I built on Webflow. Um, and I built it and it looks like this on the back end. And then once you have this like built in, in something like... Um... Wherever it's built, if it's built in web floor, if it's built in software, can you then take it and move it around then pretty easily? What do you mean move it around? I mean, can you then we can now use what we have here and 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 use the same the same uh, content somewhere else, or do we have to rebuild it in a different platform? Um, if I was re if I was building this in Webflow, I'd probably have to rebuild it. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, but it wouldn't take that long. I would probably use another simple template and just, you know, mm -hmm. fucked it into, mm -hmm. into a nice little setup. Okay. Um, so, but we have yeah. at least the, we have the layout now and everything that we can. Yeah. Exactly. But like people are, I, I get that question a lot. People are often yeah. very concerned yeah. about like rebuilding something in a new tool, but this took us like 40 minutes, right? Yeah. So like rebuilding in a new tool, if it improves the product significantly, really isn't that big of a deal. Right. Um, in my opinion, but yeah, this works for now, and this might be more than enough, right? I'm actually curious. When I go to this and I click this, it sorts. Great. Um, 
Okay. Yeah. The sort's just fine. I wonder if there's a way that we can include it in the URL. Yeah, it's fine. Um, how does hosting work on both Webflow and software? It automatically hosts it for you. You don't have to go do any Bluehost or anything like that. Um, or at least they host it on their tool. You don't have to do anything on your end. I think if you have an account, you can have a few projects with live URLs and hosting. Um, yeah, hosting is on their end. Yep, 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 you absolutely can. I think I can actually have as many. Um, yes, until you want to sync up the domain. They actually used to allow you to do a custom domain for free. And I think they just changed that, which is interesting. Um, so I guess I had to have a custom domain off. Oh, no, 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 I can only do one custom domain. You can do one custom domain on software for free. And I already have something on here. Beta, my first version of beta actually was on software. Uh, and I used a, a, a custom domain. So that's why it's not letting me. But you can actually use a custom. It's like the only tool that I've found that lets you use a custom domain that you've bought for free on the tool. Um, so if we went to Google domains um, and we looked up like, let's see, entre jobs, entre jobs, let's see if it's available. entrejobs.com right there. We could grab that for 12 bucks a year, pop it into software and we would be done with our first version prototype. No problem. Love it. Right? Yay. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, so let me see if different schools want their own individual pages for their position. And listings. you can do and you can do your first customer discovery uh, on me, and I'd say yes. I, I think it'd be <laughs> nice. <to have. laughs> yeah. That sounds great. Wonderful. I'm very excited. Yeah. I'll probably have I'll probably because there's a couple of the projects that I want to build first, mm -hmm. but it's probably mm -hmm. going to be one of my next ones. Um yeah. So I'll probably hit you up in like a month or so and mm -hmm. I'll be building this and, and trying genuinely to get it out into hey, like e Hey, if you, uh, if you're building it, I, I would love to watch the process and I'm sure some of the people here today, if you guys, I don't know, would you guys like to watch the process if he's willing to, to sh share with us? Um, well, on my Twitch channel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then Great. awesome. Then I'll write that down as well. Yeah. Cool. Right. Yeah. Put your Twitch channel um, here so we can see it. And yeah. Um, yeah. And that was awesome. Heck so, yeah. That's really, really cool. So Stephen, is there anything else um, that we need to make sure to cover before we're almost out of time? Uh, housekeeping, did you send out those? I think you sent out the surveys. You're muted. Uh, am oh. I muted? There you are, there you are. We can hear you now. Okay. I want to put the survey in the chat, so please take that. It should only take two minutes, like I said earlier. Um, and we'll get this uh, information out to Max as soon as possible. So thank you, everybody, for coming today. Uh, Max, I think we can hand it off to you to set us free. Heck yeah, awesomeness. Um, this is a ton of fun. Thank you so much. Um, I'll definitely ping you, Tanya, with the Twitch link and, and a couple of other things when I do decide to, to start building this formally on the show. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let everybody know. This is a ton of fun. I'm glad I got started on this project. I've wanted to do this for a little while. So, Yay, that was awesome. Thank you so much, Max. That was really useful. And hey, look, we all got to uh, help build an MVP together. And um, I, I think that was a ton of fun. Ton of fun. Love it. Max, so. I have a question. How the heck did you start doing this? What's your story? I mean, this is such a good one. In one minute. In one minute. In one, one minute. minute. Yeah, I, got, I got my elevator pitch it. story. Yeah. Um, uh, I was in school. I was trying to study entrepreneurship. I learned stuff from my classes. That was fine, but I couldn't find anything genuine on the internet about entrepreneurship. Everything was this white male, aggressive, money hungry, dominated kind of BS. Um, and I couldn't find anything that actually was helping me build stuff. I interviewed like a hundred entrepreneurs over the next year and a half. All of them said it's about solving problems in the world. I went and I tried to solve my own little problem, which is actually a small version of this, a little job board. Um, my mind exploded because I was like, oh my gosh, I can make my own things. And I started making content about it on the internet and people seem to like it. That's basically awesome. it. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. It was a huge breakthrough learning experience for me. Yeah. I yeah. I'm glad you accidentally <laughs> showed up. He started like a year a year ago at the rec when we when we very first started at rec is right when he was uh, taken off and he gave that first uh, gave that first workshop and we've done so many since and I just love them. They're my yeah. favorites. <laughs> hey Max. Do you yeah. have um, contact information if we have any personal questions? Absolutely. And um, then um, if we have an idea, but don't feel like 
you know, learning everything you know, are you available to be hired? I am indeed. I am I am available for both of those. I just put my email and my website in uh, the chat. Should I have all my <laughs> socials somewhere on there? Um, Entrepreneur for hire, yeah. Heck yeah. I'm, I'm starting so to do more stuff. Well, so the services you offer would be website development and app development. Is that correct? Yeah, those are the two big ones. Um, <clears throat> there, some apps require like a bunch of integrations with other things, or, or maybe there's a, a website landing page along with an app. Those are the two main things. Yes, but I, I've also done some marketing stuff um, and uh, customers can yeah. help. I was going to say that he does a lot more than that. So definitely connect with him offline. Uh, thanks again, everybody for being here and we'll see you. Uh, we have another workshop today at six o'clock. If you're uh, interested. No, we don't. Never mind. I take that back. <laughs> but next week is the next workshop. <laughs> All right. I'll see everybody at the tomorrow next Tomorrow is week. the next workshop. Oh, oh, tomorrow. Okay. Ignore everything I say. Listen to Steven. Tomorrow's the next workshop. Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Hertz and I'm the director of the Regional Entrepreneurship Center, the Rec Innovation Lab at San Diego Miramar College. And I'd like to thank our partners at this time and give a special thanks to SDSU's Lavin Center, the SDSU Zip Launchpad. We'd like to thank the California Entrepreneurship Educators Conference. Also like to thank Harness, the Brink SBDC at USD, San Diego Unified Schools. We'd also like to thank School of Entrepreneurship and Technology, High Tech High, the Regional Advisory Committee, Alex Waters at the Jacobs Center, Connect All, 21 IQ Labs, Startup Quest, Productify. I'd like to thank Course Key and Tech Coast Angels. Thank you to Village Up, City Heights Development Corporation, San Diego Angel Conference, Startup San Diego, SBDC, Score San Diego, We Are Kingdom, New Media Rights, San Diego Tech Hub, Origin 63, Ambrosio 15, OmniSync, Optima Office, Proven Recruiting, Craft Leadership, GSNL Consulting. Thank you to all of our partners. We couldn't do what we do without you. Thank you.